Hey everyone, it's Ryzen. Welcome back to Let's Play Final Fantasy IV The After Years. Let's take a look at what the hooded man has here. Yeah, he's left-handed. But he's got this power armlet. Now one thing you can do is you can give the power armlet to... Okay, well that's not giving the power armlet. To Theodore. And he'll get a third attack multiplier, I believe. But Theodore is so pitifully weak right now. Uh, if you took the King Sword, then sure, I would do that, but... I didn't, so I want to keep the Hooded Man with the Power Armlet. Besides, it gives him an extra multiplier, and he's just so much stronger than uh, Theodore that it doesn't matter. You can fight cockatrices around here. Oh yeah, speaking of them, here they are. Uh, they're pretty interesting, because they can drop the Cockatrice Summon for, uh, well, Rydia. I mean, obviously we're going to get Rydia at some point. And uh, it's the best farmable summon in the game. I actually got it on my test run uh, when I was making my notes. And it is very, very useful if you get it. But unfortunately, I did not. Actually, it wouldn't be too useful for me in this tale. But when we do, you know, Rydia's you know, chapter, it uh, if we can get it there, you know. That would be really good. And there are enemies that will let us get it, but yeah, we're just going to attack for now. I mean, there's literally nothing else we can do. Oh, Hooded Man and Theodore, they don't have a band right now. I mean, they do have a band, but we can't learn it yet. I think they have two. No, I think they only have one. I'm pretty sure we can't learn the band. No, no, we cannot learn the band. Oh, yeah, we got to go to the Devil's Road, right. Let's go ahead and just go through here. I mean, we could talk to people here, but I don't think I see anything particularly interesting. But we can talk to, uh, well, I almost said her name, but we don't know her name right now, do we? Yeah, Theodore. Oh, you, you know him? Who, who are you? Y your Porum? How'd you get pink hair? Are are you going through a phase? N n no, seriously. How, how'd you get pink hair? Is it because they think you're hotter with pink hair? Yeah, I have no idea how, why she has pink hair now. I mean, she had brown hair as a child, so I, I, I don't know. Yeah, why don't you just use the airship? Well, because we crashed it. Speaking of Porum, uh, she's actually one of the three characters that had her artwork on the um, tail selection screen censored. And hers was by far the most significant. Her outfit was effectively transparent. Like, seriously, you could see everything. I know, it's supposed to symbolize purity and whatnot. But, obviously, it doesn't have that connotation in the West, so... Censoring it was probably for the best. Since it keeps the whole purpose of the character intact with the white coloring. Well, white and pink, I guess she's got. Sadly, I don't really like what they do with Porum in this game. She's... She's very boring. She's great in uh, battle, but, you know, just as far as... Oh, yeah, we're going to get these two mages. But her character is pretty lame, unfortunately. At least I don't like what they did with her. But we get White Mage and Black Mage in the party. Yes, that is seriously their names. Oh, no one porn would, would know, huh? Alright, just some guy in a turban. Yeah, we don't get Porum. Instead of getting Porum, we get White Mage and Black Mage. They have some equipment, which for some reason is not the equipment that they sell in their own town, 
that they live in. Yeah. I don't know. Oh, by the way, there's level caps in uh, the tails here. And the level cap is generally 40. I think there's a cut. There's like once where it's 45, once where it's 50. And all like temporary characters like these guys that don't have names, their level caps are 20. That doesn't matter here because we're not going to have these guys around long enough, but something to keep in mind. Eventually they remove the level cap, but not until like the end game. Anyway, I want to buy a flame rod. And I want to buy two feathered caps, two guy gears, and two iron armlets. We'll just optimize. There we go. It did work, right? Yeah. Yeah, that's what we want. That should help Black Mage's intellect a little bit. Need to go to the inn, and I need to make it a full moon. Ah, oh, crap. We're going to have to rest a few times. I'll do this on screen so I can show you how to manipulate the moon phase here. Yeah, just rest or use several tents, and you'll be fine. One more. The reason why I want it to be a full moon is because black magic is quite useful here. If you do want to fight the overworld enemies... Um, for sword rats, make sure the hooded man is attacking them, not Seador, because hooded man is stronger and will one-shot them. Seador might not. But yeah, there's goblins, dumb avoids, sword rats, bombs, gray bombs, tiny mages, larva, eyewing moth, and spirit and cockatrices. You just auto-battle all of them. Except for sword rats, you want to make sure that it's specifically hooded man attacking them. To be, you know, optimal. Alright, so let's just uh, get into Baron and hop on right over there. Oh, there's no treasures or anything in Mysidia. Yeah, we just kind of go. I talk to people, but they don't say anything particularly interesting. And this dungeon's really annoying and I want to get through it. Yeah, for some reason we have an actual dungeon this time for the Devil's Road. I guess that makes sense because they kind of said, you know, it, it saps your vitality somehow, which never made any sense in the original so here you go you see that weird purpley gooey stuff yeah it hurts it hurts a lot too so be careful of that ah crap i hate this battle so sadly we're gonna have to uh take these guys out one by one the problem is that the spirit and the souls they absorb um they absorb fire. And if I just use fire at all, chances are it's not going to kill the guys in the back because there's just too many. So at least kill one of these blood bones. A fire on one of them might have been enough, but I don't know. Is that enough? No. Yeah, Theodore is really horrible right now. Uh, he is awful, frankly. Luckily, we got Hooded Man to clean up the slack for us. Yeah, I hate that battle. That's got to be the most annoying battle here. Because I can't just fire all of them and be done with it. Oh, yeah, I want to switch my spells. I like to put the spells that I actually care to use up higher. Mm, yeah. I think I explained this, but Protect and Shell work differently now. They're not just stat modifiers. They're actual flat damage reductions, making them significantly better. And they can stack. There's up to four layers of them, each subsequent layer producing more damage. So it's quite useful, actually, at times. I'll actually use Shell in particular here and there. 
Might even use Protect, although typically I like Blink better. Uh, okay, we got this. Okay, if we take the lower one, it resets, so don't do that. It's not a big deal. You just end up back at the beginning, but obviously you'd prefer not to do that. Oop. here. This dungeon is incredibly annoying. Should end up here. Okay. I think it's the right one. Yeah, yeah, it is. Here we are here. Grab this, get a phoenix down. Here. So this battle is much easier because have Hooded Man thin them out and then do a nice fire all. If I can get Hooded Man to kill another one, then there we go. Now Black Mage will just take care of all of them. Simple enough. Ooh, we learned raise. Awesome. Yeah, this is one of those dungeons where if you know where you're going, it's pretty short. If you don't know where you're going, it is a pain in the ass. Okay, first things first, get this chest. Equip that on Theodore. Let's see what it's got here. Oh, by the way, the stat bonuses that you get in the after years for equipment are generally less than they were in the original. There's some exceptions, like, um, I think the gold hairpin is still, like, the same, but a lot of them that were giving, like, ten only give, like, five, and a lot of them that were giving, or seven, and a lot of them that were giving five only give, like, three, so something to keep in mind. Okay, now we want to go up here. Okay, I think we want to go right first. Yes. should lead us to treasures. Yep, here's how we get to this treasure room. I hate this treasure room because of all this crap. I don't think you can get into battles on that stuff, but it hurts a lot. It's not like, you know, the stuff in um, Final Fantasy 1 where it's like 1 HP. No, it's a good amount of HP. You will die pretty quickly in that stuff. This should basically reset us. Yeah, here we are. Yeah, it's kind of the midway point. Take the upper one. Then we go south. Yep. Straight forward from here. Oh, yellow jellies. Okay, they are weak to thunder. So Thundara to do it. Anything else here that's... Yeah, I mean, obviously all the undead enemies are weak to fire. The only enemy of note that we haven't run into here is a Lilith. Just use Fyra on it by itself because it counters and it's annoying. It does status ailments or something on you. I think it does that charm thing to you. It's not good. Just, you know, kill it in one hit. Oh, yep. I, uh... That's my practice save file. Yeah, let's see there. Okay, this is annoying. Uh, once you go through something, it'll kind of lock behind you, so you have to go in a specific order. I'm going to go north first. There's still enemies here, sadly. Skip that one. Go up here. Take this one. Go left and take this one. Or step on it. They look like teleporters, but they don't actually teleport you anywhere. Okay, now we want to take this one here. And then there's two one there's one above and one below. We want to take the below one. Oh, it always takes you in a specific direction. I did not press left there to go that way. 
lower one again, then the one on the far left, and then finally we get out of here. I swear to god there's enemies here, am I crazy? Yeah, there are. I don't know what was going on there. That was weird. I've never gone through this whole room without a battle. Huh. Well, whatever. We didn't encounter any Liliths, but I don't care. Just use Fire on one of them and you'll be fine. I did man leveled up. That's good. Well, unless you're trying to not level them up, but I don't care. Alright, now we're in uh, Baron. What do you got to say? Yeah. Yeah, it's us. But I'm going to go outside and save. I didn't expect to get through that so quickly, but that's all right. I'll just save here. So yeah, this is uh, Ryzen. Thanks for watching. And I'll see you next time when we explore Baron, you know, return to the castle. All sorts of stuff. Although, Baron seems awfully fine for a monster attack, but eh, whatever. Maybe, maybe Sesto got back up and beat up Bahamut or something. Who knows? Alright, take care.